we have liftoff. It is rare to look at a silver coin and know that this coin will affect every single person on earth in one way or another. It is rare to look at a coin that highlights a beautiful creature with a dark truth, but here we are. And as many of us know, sometimes the most beautiful things are also the most damaging. Welcome back to the Culture of Currency, where today we once again get to dive into a unique silver coin that has a much darker side than we might realize. In fact, if not found in balance, the feature on today's coin might change the global oceanic food supply forever. Today we bring you the beautiful lionfish of Tokelau. If you really want information on Tokelau, I have a video about that in my flying fish silver coin video. Today we highlight the beast of the ocean. This coin is at the crossroads of nautical and natural, which always is in demand in the marketplace, but what is even better is that this coin brings us to a much deeper knowledge of our world. I took a zoology course in college, so that makes me an expert in this area, so buckle up as we dive down on the lionfish. Just kidding about the expert part, but I did rock my way through that class in college. There are 12 recognized species of the lionfish currently, and they're all native to the Pacific and Indian Ocean regions. This is a very specific fact that you need to remember. They are a fish natively found in the Pacific. They are known to contain as much as 15,000 eggs and are documented reproducing at a faster rate than previously thought. They eat invertebrates, mollusks, and small fish, which we also need to note. Just like a spider's biggest predator being other spiders, the lionfish seems to have its biggest predation on other lionfish when they are in juvenile stages. There have been isolated instances where, let's say, moray eels, larger grouper species, and cornet fish are preying on lionfish, but this practice has not been documented in a sustained level to warrant a pattern of behavior without human intervention. The large amount of eggs that we noted and the minuscule predators lead to explosion of population, but at least they are just in the Pacific. Or are they? Turns out, we humans tend to chase beauty and ornamentation without calculating the risk of humanity's boredom after acquisition. In the mid-80s, divers started to find these fish off the coast of Florida, which is in the Atlantic, and that's an issue. Miami was a hotbed of ornamented illegal activity in the 1980s, and one way to show off your status was to have elaborate aquariums so that when people visited you, they were in all of your aquatic collection. The issue was that lionfish started to be sold for aquariums. These fish grew fast and started to gobble up other expensive fish. So it was bad for business and they had to go. It is thought that these fish were then released in the ocean where they started replicating in mass numbers due to the lack of balance in that ecosystem. Take a look at this rendering that shows you the documented cases in the Atlantic. These fish were even found all the way up to Rhode Island and studies have shown that even reducing salinity does not deter them so it's possible that we might see them in intercoastal or brackish waters in the future. If you are not familiar with this fish, they love structure such as reefs and love to eat. They also have a highly effective toxin that is in their dorsal spines. This makes them incredibly hard to catch with a rod and reel and makes spearfishing the main way to obtain them, which is much more expensive. Their coloration and ornate spines serve as a warning to would-be predators. The toxin that is hosted in this fish has led to serious medical conditions and death as often when you come in contact with these fish, you are underwater diving or on a boat out in the ocean far from medical attention. This makes the lionfish just about the perfect predator. The only areas of control we have on the lionfish currently are trying to train things like sharks and barracuda to naturally see these as food. They do not seem to be bothered by the toxins as much and so they're an okay food source for those creatures but there's not been overwhelming success in this for any type of human intervention. The only thing that we have done that has somewhat hurt the numbers is spearfishing. These levels, however, will never completely eradicate the lionfish as they are also found below safe diving levels. 
The current idea that is winning is to get the restaurant industry to start serving these things up to create demand. I've never had one of these but have seen others fillet these and eat these and they say that these are some of the best fish you can eat. Either way, know that this little critter is wrecking the Atlantic and Caribbean so if you see it on a menu, buy it and enjoy. Hopefully this will get to the point where the natural food chain is restored as many of the smaller reef fish are supposed to feed the natural predators of the Atlantic and not this prickly poisson. Now that you understand the impact of this beautiful fish on the environment, we can get to the coin itself. On the front, of course, we are met with the effigy of Elizabeth. I'm not a fan of how the text is laid out around her neck, and it is a little busy in that space. I feel that most know the weight, purity, and monetary markings well enough that it could have been used in a smaller font, or we would have to reduce the border a little bit to create that balance. Speaking of the border, I love it. I've always loved the traditional prints of different cultures, and this Tokelau print is consistent among their culturally relevant coins. We also have the traditional basket below that would be used in fishing. My Tokelau flying fish video goes over that basket much more if you want to know more about Tokelo or that basket. It is an above average rendering but leaves some things to be desired so it scores a 7. On the back we have the beautiful and deadly lionfish. I really like the overall makeup of this underwater assassin. It is proportionate and the details are good looking for this fish. The background is busy, but it is consistent with the series. The issue that I have is that it overwhelms the text a bit. I know all of you want to be able to read Haku Haku Lele. Overall, I like the design, but I find it needs more definition and balance, so it scores a 7. Mintage is the next avenue we walk down. This coin has an extremely low mintage of 10,000. This means get one while you can. This low mintage scores a 9 and is a main factor in considering this coin. Now we transition to cultural significance. This is a fish that is naturally found in Tokelau and would have been there long before humans ever sailed to the island. Natural flora and fauna are always shoe-ins for cultural significance. Sure, I would have loved something other than the queen on the front, but this fish is a prime example of what to expect in Tokelau, so it does score a 9. Collectability is where we go next. This is an extremely low mintage. It checks the box for nature and nautical lovers and is not a bad looking coin overall. It is a little busy, but it is in a series with like design. That being said, it holds an 8. Now we get to uniqueness, our last stop on the journey. This animal is not featured often, but it was recently featured on a silver coin from Barbados. And in my opinion, the Barbados imagery does look a little bit better than this coin. The mintage, however, on this coin is better than the Barbados coin. The Barbados coin is the best example of recent bullion, but there have been occasional coins back in the early 2000s and 90s that feature this animal, so I scored a 7. This lands our lionfish at a respectable 48 out of 60. This is just under the elite level, and it is my estimation that the mintage is the best argument for this coin, so if you are outside of the nature and nautical enthusiast, it may not be for you. It is a great option for series collectors, but as a standalone pickup, it offers a little bit less to the eye. I love it because I love nature and nautical themed coins. The mintage is a bonus. This coin has been a delight to bring to you and I hope until we meet again that you stay classy and current with the culture of currency.